Well, my sense is that we're doing better treating and diagnosing concussions, but I think we're still missing a great many, especially in collision sports like football, where there's a lot of stop time and very little go time. In a sport like soccer, where it's mostly continuous play, it's pretty hard to play through serious balance issues or concentration issues, as compared with football, where you may have four or five minutes correction. In football, where you may have four or five seconds of physical activity and then 30 seconds of standing around getting the next play. That's a lot easier to play through than, say, soccer. Well, I think we need to educate the athletes themselves and the parents to the dangers of playing while still symptomatic. Not just the risk, the rare second impact syndrome that has horrific consequences for those that get it. Fortunately, it's rare. Um, but for those that get it, almost 100% have serious neurologic uh, morbidity and about 50% will die. Um, but more importantly, emphasize that it's not safe to play with symptoms. If you do, you risk getting the next hit to the head, cause a very prolonged post-concussion syndrome period of months where you have symptoms that may take you out of school, may take you, will take you out of sport, uh, and have very uh, significant consequences as a result. It is just not smart to try to worry about whether you're going to lose your position if you come out of a contest or whether the coach will lose any esteem uh, for you. Um, it's just very important to understand this is too serious an injury to be fooling around with. This is not like an injury to any other part of the body. The brain is not repa replaceable. You can wind up with permanent injury if you mismanage a concussion.